training and I'm going to talk about routines because I've um, really become more and more aware of my routine and fine tuning it and adding new things and adjusting my behavior. Oh. So I realized that, you know, people, we all have a routine if we're consciously aware of it or not. There are things that everybody does on a daily basis and becoming, you know, just more aware of that helps you feel just more in control of your life instead of feeling like life is something that's just running you over. And so you do have control. Like what time of the day do you want to brush your teeth? I mean, that's, you know, brushing teeth is something I have to put effort into doing because I'm the kind of person that could go weeks and completely forget about doing that. So like, <laughs> I have to put in effort for that behavior. Other people wake up and that's Every day, they, they're just brushing their teeth because that's just what they do. That's their, it's a hard set part of their daily routine. So learning where your hard set in your daily routine of things that you're going to do every day, no matter what, it's just unconscious. So hard set for me would be my coffee. Yeah. I have a Nescafe Dolce Gusto coffee machine, and I love this thing. And the coffee pods, I found them real cheap on eBay. So I can make my um, caramel mocha, uh, my, my, oh, my coffee poo. And um, with the, okay, now I got the cost down because I'm getting cheap pods on eBay. So with the cost of the cup and the pods and the whipped cream and the topping with everything, it's under a dollar a cup. Uh, mm. So that is my hard set. Something I'm going to do every day, no matter what. So what I do is I've been building my routine around my hard set activities like coffee. So I added in daily greens and taking athletic greens, which I really like. I, I'm surprised how much I like it. I don't want to, I'm not selling anything, no. Um, I just, you know, I, I, I've been really good at it this for over a month now. And I was am able to delay my gratification of my coffee because I take those greens first thing in the morning and then I can't drink my coffee for an hour. I gotta wait for my coffee, which is, it's good for me to delay some gratification because I need a little more practice and patience. Yeah, that's a thing. Patience. I could use a lot more of that. So it's been really good adding that to my routine and it's been almost a year now that I've been walking and I started out really slow with just two 10 minute walks a day with my dog and now I'm up to two, three hours some day of walking uh, and uh, sometimes I really have to push myself. I don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. But <laughs> being able to persist and keep going when I'm just not in the mood, knowing that the, the physical activity of the movement of getting myself going will relieve a lot of my um, inner turmoil. You know, all this <clears throat> psycho babble thing I got going on where I just, I want to fix myself and, and, you know, it to infinity and beyond. <laughs> you know, it's a kind of, you know, walking can be a form of meditation. Um, so getting myself out of my head, I think, is really walking is a great way to do that. Any kind of, I think, physical activity is a great way to get out of your dang head. That's an important thing to do because it's really difficult, I think, to um, to function all the time. If you're just thinking, thinking, thinking all the time, uh, that's, that's not healthy. <laughs> we, need to, we need to mix it up a little bit, do some other stuff too. Because it's not all just about what you think. Because obviously uh, half of everything I think is just garbage. You know, it's like useless information or, you know, blatantly wrong. Or, yeah, yeah, I got a lot of mm, mumbo jumbo. I can just, I can move on. So I try to incorporate into my day to, to all these different things that I want to do. And I think it's very personalized. If you take on somebody else's daily routine, that's not going to work for you. It's something you got to really you know, make it your own, definitely. And so, and every day I want to like learn something new, even if it's like 30 minutes of just listening to new music I've never heard of. I want to, you know, expose myself to new things and I don't, cause I don't like to feel stuck. Yeah. And then there's like rabbit holes of things, you know, I, I find some video about something stupid and I'm like, oh, 
I want to learn. I want to go deep into this. And so I've noticed if I vocalize, oh, there's this rabbit hole of information I'd like to dive deep into right now. Uh, and then I put a time on it. I'm like, oh, I'm going to spend the next three hours going down this rabbit hole. And then, uh, then it's going to be seven o'clock. It's time for a walk. So I'm going to have to, you know, do something different. This is why my routine is so important, is that it keeps me in check with myself. It keeps me accountable to myself. And then, you know, there's there's limits of this, like because like, I really want to do the abdominal exercises and whoo whoo, to make something big like that stick. Oh, it's a lot of effort, and I can't add anything else new. It's like really, if I want to do something that significant, like me doing abdominal exercises maybe three or four times a week. Oh, that would be awesome. But then I get all these other little ideas of all this other stuff I'd like to do. I'm like, oh, it'd be easier to do all these other things and then forget the abdominal exercises. You're never going to be able to do that, you crazy dumb bitch. <laughs> it's not going to happen. No, but I, um, I really want to put in the effort. I'm going to try at least for another month to try to do that thing. Oh, and here's my carrot on the string, is if I could do the abdominal exercises three days in a row, I'm gonna earn my burrito. Cause I need to space out, you know, my burrito money for the month. I like, I like my burritos. But a girl shouldn't be eating a burrito every day. So three days consecutive abdominal exercises 15 minutes, damn, it's not that big of a deal. You could do that to earn your burrito, girl. It's my little carrot on the string to get me going because mm, I'm not that huge. But I definitely, I would like to be able to run after my dog. You know, if my little dog, she's excited, she's out there, and she get, she pulls the leash out of my hand, and she's off running because she's excited because she sees some other dog. and. <laughs> I can't run. And that makes me feel really helpless. I don't like that feeling of helplessness. And so if I could sprint after my dog, that would make me feel a little less helpless and a little more in control of my world. I don't know. Maybe that's another motivation to be a little bit more physically fit besides a whole long list of other things. But yeah, routines. Routines keep me in check keeps me healthy, not just physically, but mentally healthy, because my routine can break me out of my own bullshit, because, oh, it's time to do something else. Mm-hmm.